everyone i'm doing a bit of dolly business today so a few little uh, i wanted to ask a few questions from uh, particularly from the reborn community if anyone from the reborn community watches my channel um i'd like to ask a couple of questions or questions of you um i've done i've got a bit of sewing updates a few dolly updates i've got a bit of a clothing haul for clara Clara Clara's down here she's having a rest she's having a rest um but first and foremost I have some happy mail some lovely happy mail this came all the way from Marna over at Dolls Rescued in America I'm in the UK so that is a long way to send me some lovely Valentine fabric how lovely is that love it thank you so much Marna that was a lovely surprise so I'll be making something with that um, now, the Blythe books, it's my current obsession. Marna said she'd like to see me make something for the Midi Blythe, so I made this. Um, I haven't done embroidery for years, so I did a bit of embroidery. I'm so pleased with how it came out. <laughs> look at this! <gasps> Doesn't she look adorable? It fits her so nicely look at that mana i love it and i'm thinking as well that in, i mean this is um it's called a mexican dress in the book but i'm thinking you could use that pattern to make any dress for her couldn't you, you could do it in any material and it would still look cute on her <laughs> so chuffed with it yeah the embroidery i thought oh gosh i'm not sure i can do that and i thought no challenge yourself jay so i did and i love it so much she looks so cute Little Dax got hold of her this morning and he was not going to give her back. Anyway, he did. And then this is the coat dress that Rosie thought I should make. So I made that, really pleased with that. I don't have any of the belt buckles. These are the only belt buckles I got and I got them from AliExpress. So I used that, but I think it looks okay, doesn't it? I've got some teeny tiny buttons on there, but it's actually closed with a hook and eye there and another one down here got little bows that you can see the little hook and eye there and it's all lined with this spotty fabric which I love um, I also made her the tights and I made her the little pleated skirt that goes underneath the trouble is with the pleated skirt I the material I used is a little bit thick so it's not it's not staying pleated as much as it should but otherwise I think it came out really nicely got her little collar there it really did come out well i'm i'm pushing myself a bit with these pants and i'm so delighted that they're working out okay and yeah so pleased with them i'm thrilled in fact yeah really thrilled with those so that was that where is the coat dress so i can show you it on here here it is here's the pattern look with the little pleated skirt underneath and the stockings so i did the whole of that and then this girl, now it was Wednesday from Wednesday and Gilly together. If you don't follow Wednesday and Gilly together, you really should, you're missing out. They're lovely. She's got a lovely channel and I love Wednesday and Gilly. She suggested I cut the tassels off and I thought, oh yeah, I could do that. So I cut the tassels off and added this white ribbing because it matches the edging on the rest of her top. And I like that so much better already. But that's just for now. I am planning on making her, I think I'm going to make her a jogging outfit, which was suggested by a few people. And I'm going to use this, I think, to make her a like a jogging outfit it's not quite as dark as it looks on there it's more pastel colors so i thought i'd use that and then i'm going to make her a white t-shirt and some jeans i have a barbie pattern for some jeans which i'll just have to make a little bit bigger because she's a curvy doll so i'm gonna do that then i got some fabric from my favorite aliexpress look at this I love these vintage looking fabrics. It's got music on it. It's got a little bird cages. It's got the little girl with her brush and bucket look. Oh, it's so sweet. I love it. She's cleaning look. She's got a little vase there that she's dusting. Oh, I love that. Just love it. I love her little face. Look at her little face. Thought how nice that would look for a dress for 
a vintage doll similar to Gladys. Then onto the reborn um, thing. Now, I was watching a, a channel yesterday. I can't remember the name of the channel, but she was saying that if you can't afford a reborn doll, you can use dolls like Ashton Drake dolls. Now, I thought Ashton Drake's were reborn dolls, so I just need someone to clear me up on that. I have, um, I mean, I've got lots of baby dolls, baby size dolls, and I know they're not reborns, but I thought Ashton Drake were reborn dolls. Have I got that around my neck? Um, I'm sure that they are, I'm, I think they're described as reborn dolls. Anyway, this lady, I mean, she wasn't um, being nasty or anything like that. She was just saying on her channel that if you can't afford a proper reborn doll, you could get uh, either um, an Ashton Drake doll or a, I can't remember what the others were, but she'd got a few dolls that weren't actual reborns. So I was, I've got this, I want to spend more time with my reborns. I buy, I do buy clothes for them. I've changed them quite a lot. Um, I don't do role play as such, but I do, you know, change their clothes. I like dressing them up. I enjoy dressing them up. I've got four Ashton Drake dolls and I've got some that are like cheaper baby style dolls. Um, Rosie and I love playing with those dolls and we spend hours changing them. So I, and I know that there's a lot going around the Reborn community of people saying that they've had um, stick from people for not having um, genuine reborn dolls. Well, I, I, I don't know what a, you know, not everybody knows what a genuine reborn doll is. I've seen on um, a few channels people saying that they've had emails or they've been targeted by people. Well, I don't want any of that. I just want to show you my dolls. You know, uh, what do you think? Do you think it would be worth me um, doing starting another channel for my reborns or? Well, are they even reborns? For my babies, I'll call them. I'll call them Jay's babies. That's what I'll call them. I mean, like I've got my little Amelie. This is my little Amelie. I know she's not a reborn doll. She's a Marina and Pow doll that I bought from... Um, she doesn't have any hair. Look at that. I love that because my daughter was bald when she was born, my first daughter. She... Um, she's just so gorgeous she smells gorgeous she's beautifully weighted she fits in a tiny baby baby grow and my husband bought her for me i love her so much but she's not is she she's not a reborn is she she's but she is a genuine like doll by a, a doll artist is she she was hand painted i i don't know i get confused i watch lots of chant doll channels lots of reborn channels too i really in rosie and i really enjoy our dollies our babies so what would your advice be would you advise me to add my reborns into this channel um you know just make separate videos for them or do you think it would be worth me setting up another channel just for well well for my babies let's call them babies because i don't want to get into any trouble with anybody for calling them something they're not yeah my lovely amelie i love her so much she's so beautiful rosie's put this knitted hat on her she's a big fan of knitted hats rose well knitted anything yeah she's got a lovely her head's nicely weighted she's just so gorgeous i could just cuddle her all day she's lovely <laughs> yeah Yes, so onto the hall. Onto the clothing hall. I bought these from a cheap retail shop in the UK. They're two pairs of leggings, and these are for Clara, and they are in uh, age three to four size. And I bought them to go with this little top, which I absolutely love. I thought she could wear either pair of those with that top, couldn't she? So cute. Love it. That's for like the spring and summer, which is on its way. It's on its way. Then on eBay, I got some, some pairs of pyjamas. So I've got this 
dinosaur pair they were ever such a good price and in fact she put the dinosaur pair in for free these are for my reborns i got the this bunny pair so cute and the top is the same it's just got bunnies on it the same i got this um these are like fleecy tartan bottoms and then they've got a plain blue top and then the last pair which is my favorite is this pair it's got this cute little hedgehog on it look <laughs> hedgehogs it says really cute that is they smell gorgeous as well i mean i do wash i shall wash everything because rosie will be playing with these as well and then the trousers have got like little foxes on them and little owls so pretty that's my favorite pair and then in another lot i got this skirt really pretty little like nets party skirt that's a monsoon skirt it's an age three to four and i thought as that's net if it's too long i can just trim a bit off the bottom because it's not edged or anything then i got all this dress for the summer which is just beautiful love 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 this you see it it's got and it needs washing and ironing got that pretty little bow there it's got this sort of top on it with little straps and it has a big tie around the waist to make a bow at the back and then also in that bundle came these two little tops which I thought would go with the with the party skirt love that one that's really pretty that's uh next I think yeah that's the next top love that and then this little top as well came with it, which I thought would go with the ballet, like ballerina tutu type skirt as well. It's a uh, Dickens and Jones. I've not heard of Little Dickens and Jones, it's called. I've not heard of those, but I did think that was pretty. It's a bit sparkly. and So that was my dolly business for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.